Hello everyone and welcome back to Veilis Life. In the last one we saw the horrible attack from the friendly bees that tickled him in the form of a hurricane and made me kind of rewatch Dr. Bees a couple of times and remember that there was a scene in the Wicker Man where it could have been directly correlated to with Nicolas Cage and a certain bees beans put near his face in a very very cruel manner uh, where he screams not the bees not the bees god not the bees or something of the sort so there are, I, I like the small references you usually get in games I, I love them especially if they're so, they are so well hidden that you have to go back and go wait a minute it could also have been from there you know um, some of the events in this game are directly related to either the Disney version of the of the story or the original stories of the game, or of the game, or of the fairy tales. Uh, either Brothers Grimm, H.D. Anderson, H.C. Anderson. No, I'm not a proper name. I said his name wrong. Oh well. Um, Hans Christian Anderson. That's that he's pronounced in English. Anyway, with all that rambling aside, which I'm starting to do a lot because I've been quotation mark bored all day with writing and reading, and we'll be collecting all the items that we need for uh, the fountain base and the dripping treats. Dipping treats. The like dripping treats. There was no R in there, my friend. Um, so, let's see here. We'll have Austin do that. And we will oh, 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 oh. And we will have Mark and do the rest. Yes. And before we quicken the matter <laughs> We I actually think we can start oh so oh wait, we actually need to make space in the crafting area. So we will collect the axe, as we can see in here. We have in twenty four hours you guys will manage to give me all the cases that I needed for upgrading the resource storage. Thank you so much for that. I'm very grateful for that because then we can start building that as well and we will just collect this X so we can actually start creating it and begin building it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some day. It's gonna be five days. <laughs> no. But fortunately we have a case of a villager that wants to produce the next generation. Yay. Let's just find her here. Um, oh, they actually need water as well. Derp. Here you go! Lots of water. At least for some. <laughs> and let's see. Do, 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 do. Where did she go? She was there. Let's see if we were lucky this time. I doubt it. Because my luck. But then we have five days to quicken it by trying to have a child. But yay! Still no child. Oh well. <laughs> Um, in between episodes, we also got an achievement, and I have not shoot. Oh, that was because I farmed the potatoes. To, okay, that was because I found off-screen three types of potatoes to make the villagers happy because they were hungry for salad, potatoes, and and corn. Now they want cabbage, which is yet to be unlocked. Me. Anyway, <laughs> so let's just collect that and go and get a little extra gems. Yes, we like gems. It's so sweet and sparkly. Um, we can also start gathering all the items for the t crafting the teddy. So we are at that point now where we can craft the teddy very, very, very soon. Um, oop, something broke again. And we will have Eli do that. Yes. Um, that was actually a funny thing. I only realized recently, if we go to Loganan, or I'll just usually call him Logan, but he has a last name. I didn't realize this, but the village, the, the other village which we got him from has actually done his their own family tree sort of, and given them a short last name to also kind of identify um, which quotation mark clan they're from. And that's actually kind of neat. I didn't even think about that when I when I named my villagers. So that was a, a really great way to make sure you knew who gave birth to who if you didn't have the family tree. 
or if it wasn't implemented in the tablet at the time where I started playing again, that was actually a genius plan. Uh, so kudos to that idea. Um, but yeah, let's just continue with the matter at hand and collect the items so we can progress with the event. And the rope became done as well, as well as the birch. Is the grass done as well? Ooh, well, fantastic. Then we can start crafting the teddy bear so we at least can have the kids kind of happy. Not quite, but close enough. Um, yeah, that's good. We just let that build it on its own and go back into it here and start building the fountain that would take 12 hours. Hmm. Well, in our world, it will only take mere seconds. Yes, indeed. So, let's click on it and rejoice. Hopefully. Pliny! It's Pliny. Or. Could it be Pliny? I just still want him to be named Plinly. I don't know why, but. Yeah. Never mind. Pinley! I'm gonna rename him when we get him. Because you can see we're gonna get him in a second. That is, it, this is truly delicious. And what marvelous intent. What a marvelous intent. Invention! I can read! Yay! Nothing new there. He's so happy. Just look how how happy Hinley <laughs> looks. Uh, I do not pronounce his name right in any way. But just look how Roger, his face is kind of like devious. And Hinley is just looking like a child. Like, everything is gonna be alright. I'm kind of like, who is the real villain here in the end? The, the manager that apparently doesn't care anything else than switching with his wife or the guy who's actually trying to keep the company at bay. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you can't really feel for the villain. Anyway. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Yay. Like it? I love it. How about teaming up with Jessica and I? Because now you've seen his true abilities, we could create a wonderful treat together. No! Worried buns! No! <laughs> I knew it was gonna come. No! It would be excellent! <laughs> Creating sweet treats is all I ever wanted to do. Aww. You're one of us now. Plan I. Clean I. I'm gonna rename him. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. So we're gonna get the fun item, which is the chocolate factory, and we're going to get Plan I. <laughs> Creativity Creativity brings people together. Well in some cases, in some cases it won't. <laughs> You're kidding me, you're getting a- wait, what? No, uh. How can we get a hero's charm for- Okay, I'm, I'm not complaining. Okay. So we're gonna get- No. Exotic estate. Okay, those was spoilers, but really? No. It's <laughs> probably what we're going to build now, though. My darling Roger, I've been thinking that we maybe should live somewhere a little quieter. So we can smooch all day long. <laughs> the factory is so noisy. We could come up with the even better ideas if we lived somewhere tranquil like this. We don't need to find somewhere else like here. We just live here. I mean, if you give us chocolate and make all these delicious items all day, if we could, we wouldn't mind. <laughs> Oh, that would be simply wonderful. This village is perfect. Why does this make us sound like a high, touchy, touchy person? Like, no, <laughs> we will need somewhere to stay. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure those two are pretty nice, even though uh, I'm, I'm more on the evil guy's side than the, the good guy's side this time. Away. <laughs> and my voice got very high pitched there, sorry. Leave that to us. We are so crafty people, we will build you something you would like to live in, no doubt. So what do we need to uh, 
Okay, that's actually a quite big building. Where can we put this? We need a place to put it. There we go. Where can we put it? Uh, it probably with the size of it, it might actually be a sort of a tower. So let's put it here for now, so we can build it and see where we might be able to place it. So, what do we need? The estate foundation and the creative space. Okay, what do we need for the? We need to unlock Scott's Pine. We have the two other items, great. Other? And we need the pastel ribbons. Okay, great. So we will go into the unlocking school. Ew! I'm guessing the Penley. Gonna change his name right away! <laughs> uh. Okay, we actually have a few master followers. I was all kind of like, hmm. So we will just find. Oh, Pippi wants to get married. Just a second, Bree. Uh, we need to rename this guy before he spells and say his name wrong all the time. So <laughs> we correct the mistake with making it the mistake. Yeah. Mistake, mistake, exception. You never know. Never mind. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he wants to find his true love. So how many stars is he? Like... He's a four star. Oh, he's also a gatherer! Yes! Love it, love it, love it, love it. Though I do not know what his main skill is. Never mind. We gonna... <laughs> Alright! <laughs> okay! I like the... Oh, that was because I pressed on the dice, that's right. I didn't press on the name, I pressed on the dice, so... Um, I think we... Pin... Lee, right? But isn't that the way I pronounce it? Pin Lee? Pin Lee? Pin Lee? We could put in the next tile. Pin Lee. There we go! Confirm. <laughs> now he's a special character. <laughs> Only he from this event has this name. <laughs> Just because I can't pronounce it. Derp. Anyway, let's go into the unlocking department and see here. Oh, it's actually just the two last items we need to unlock. Okay, then let's do that. Good. Now we actually just need to collect all the items that we need. So let's see, Scott's Point is probably... It's not a foraging item. Is it a gatherer item? Really? I thought my oh, Plinley would oh, Plinley would do that with ease. But okay, we need we need to um, calm some tin. Is he not included yet, or he's probably not included yet? Okay, never mind. What do you wanna do, Plinley? You wanna collect some water? No, Morgan's off for that job. No mind. <laughs> okay, so ah, uh, click on it. Goodness. We have to gather some silver marble as well, so we would do that. Mabel, sorry. No R. <laughs> oh goodness gracious my head. Uh and we have to farm another potion of sparkling foil flowers. Foil flower So they made a foil. I hope it's decoration and not edibles. I really hope so. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that was not what I intended to do. Um, and what's the last thing? What is pastel ribbons? Are they uh, getting it somewhere? No, they are farming items as well. So we have Thea. Do that. There we are. And then we actually are collecting all the items that we need for this event. So we'll just click, click, click all the happiness given to us by the lovely villagers of our village because they are so happy to live here that they give us points from just being decently happy and leave it at home so we are stealing it. <laughs> so that actually takes us to up to 
quite um, close to level 10. And we're actually kind of starting to looking forward to get to level 10 so we can unlock uh, Riverside because it was also one of the... Riverside is probably my favorite area, mostly because of its its um, its housings and such. Um, but I won't talk too much about that yet because I don't want to spoil it. Maybe for those who have played a longer time will know about it. For those who are new to the game, I don't want to spoil that until we get to that part. Because I can talk about stuff and then people wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> and that's not uncommon after all, because I do ramble a lot. Um, so Eli will craft the tin pick. And we have a... No spoilers! We have a fairy tale character. So he is a fairy tale character. So is this from a movie that I don't know? If he's a fairy tale character or is he made up? Because I got chocolate, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, factory right away, but I have no idea who these are. Is this just basically something I don't know about? It's not just no. It, it's definitely not that move because it's probably too old for people to remember. Uh, I was about to ma mention a movie which I have barely seen myself, so never mind. Um, but I don't think we can actually do more before they're done gathering all the items and start uh, done crafting all the items and such. I just had to hold back like you're in there, sorry, I'm recording late at night because it seems I'm more awake at night than I am in the morning, so I'm actually moved my recording schedule to like 11 p.m. at night, where I feel the most awake. So, but for some reason, uh, Yorn just sneaked in there. But, <laughs> I think I'll end off here, and until next time guys, take care, and have a fabulous day.